welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here and you've just clicked on this video, then it's so nice to have you here. Today's video, as you can see from the title down below, is a get ready with me. I just thought I'd film this since I've never done one before and I really enjoy watching these kinds of videos myself. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. So first thing I usually do before I start off my makeup is moisturise. I've already done this using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Obviously, I have been raving about it a lot on my channel recently if you've watched my previous videos. After that I'm going to prime my skin so I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. I've used this a couple of times and I have to say it's really good. Um, it definitely gives you a nice base to start off your makeup with and it also gives you a lovely glow as well, hence Wonder Glow. If you have great skin then this would be lovely by itself just to give you that kind of glow that you're after but I have acne so I like to put a foundation on just to cover up the redness and to look that little bit nicer. So I don't know if you can see that but it's just giving me a nice glow and I just think that it's a lovely base for the rest of my makeup. So the foundation that I'm currently using at the moment is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and my natural skin colour is 118. Currently I have a bit of a tan so this is actually a bit light for me but I'll just bronze my skin up and get it to work. Next I'm just going to blend out with my little sponge. Um, I can't actually remember what make it is, it's not a beauty blender. Is it real techniques? I can't remember, but yeah, quite liking it. The thing I like about this foundation is that it's buildable, so if you want more of a full coverage like me then just slap a couple of layers on. Sometimes I like to blend it out with a brush just to get into all the little nooks and crannies that a sponge can't. Next I'm going in with the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer which I know a lot of people use and I think it's great. Just pop on under my eyes. down my nose and my chin. And again, blend it out. Next, I'm just gonna go over a couple of the spots on my chin with another Maybelline concealer. It is the Fit Me one just to make sure that they are definitely covered. Then I'm just going to take the foundation down my neck a little bit kind of blend it in. I should really get myself a darker foundation to go with my tan. But don't worry, we'll blend it. So that's foundation done and next I'm going to move on to eyebrows. How did I get foundation on my lips? That's better. Remember when that was a thing? Well, it was a thing like when I was at school, like some girls just did the foundation on their lips. I, I just never got into that. So for eyebrows, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Tattoo Brow and the little spoolie brush that goes with it. I don't use anything fancy on my eyebrows and that's actually one of the things that I really want to step up. So first I'm just going to brush them, make sure there's no foundation stuck in there, which there always usually is. And I'm just going to use my mirror.
and then just every now and again brush through them so they don't look like really cake. So that's eyebrows done and they're probably not the same at all but what's that saying they say that eyebrows are sisters not twins. Next it's time for some eyeshadow and again I do absolutely nothing fancy at all. Just quite a natural all one colour usually because I'm just hopeless at it. So I'm just going to take a shade from the Too Faced Super Fun Night Palette and I'm going to go in with Oh What Fun. Just going to use a little crease brush and put it on my lid. So just to make that look a bit more defined, I'm going to go in with a darker sort of brown shade and it's a Too Faced palette again, it's I Believe in Pink and it's in the shade Spoiled Rotten. And I'm literally just going to shove this into my crease. And then just to make it a bit more blended, I'm going to go in with a little, this is actually a concealer buffer brush but I'm going to use it for my lids and just blend that out. I'm just kind of take it up to my brow bone. Like that. Next I'm just going to put on some eyelashes and it is the Eyelure Volume number 100. I really like these, I just think they're nice and natural because I don't really like a dramatic lash. I mean, unless I'm going to a wedding or something, but even then I do like to keep it quite natural. I'm just that kind of person. So I like to put on my lashes with tweezers. I just hold the lash like this and then just pop it on. Now I know some people put um, mascara on their eyelashes before they put on falsies. Sometimes I do that, but sometimes I don't. I do like to put on a little bit after I've put the eyelash on just to kind of blend all the natural lashes to the false one. But that's about it. So that's the lashes on. So amazing what a difference these things make. Just pop when your eyes are open. So like I said before, I'm just going to go over these eyelashes a little bit with some mascara and I use the Maybelline Colossal Platinum Black. Well, at the moment I've been using it for quite a while but um, you know I just realised that mostly everything I've used is Maybelline they work for me I'm just going to pop a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes as well so they don't feel left out but I don't like to overdo that because I hate when You've had your makeup on for a little while. Okay, I've totally messed that up. <sighs> this is why I don't really put mascara on the bottom lashes. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't like to put mascara on my bottom lashes much because when I have my makeup on for a while and I get tired eyes, I just end up looking like a panda after a few hours. But for the sake of the video, I'll put it on. Can't even really tell. See, I, I don't really have eyelashes to start with. I'm not blessed that way. So next I'm going to go in with some bronzer, but I've actually ran out of the one I usually use. So I'm just going to go in with this Barry M Feeling Cheeky Sculpting Palette. Um, so I mean technically it's a contour, but it's, it's brown and you know. I'm sure it works just as well as a bronzer, hopefully. So I'm just going to use this powder brush to apply this. And I'm just going to go really high up on my cheeks. Hmm. 
I would say it's working as a bronzer. It's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? I got that wrong, I don't know. Mm, ice cream vans here. Okay, I'm just going to take some of that and just put it down the sides of my nose. I'm not really strict with this, I just kind of do it on the tip of my nose as well. Then I just like to put some on my temples, my head. And then of course, get rid of the double chin. So see just by applying that bronzer it's kind of just brought all my makeup together, well I think it has. Next I'm just going to go in with a little bit of blusher on top of my bronzer and I'm just going to use Benefit one, this is the mini one, same brush, I'm not fussy with it, and just apply it on top of my bronzer just kind of on the apples of my cheeks. Lastly, I'm just going to move on to lips. I'm just going to go in with some lip balm. This is the Superdrug Vitamin E lip balm. So, I've just realised that I've ran out of my lip liner. So that's great. So usually I would line my lips and just kind of fill them in a little bit, make them look a little bit bigger, you know, and then put my lipstick on. But I don't have lip liner, so I'm just going to have to go in with some lipstick. So the one I'm going to use is Urban Decay in the shade Back Talk, and this one is a comfort matte and I just love it. Well, lipstick's on and that's pretty much it. If you are wondering why I've not put on a powder or anything, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And in this case, I just didn't feel like I needed it. Sometimes I like more of a dewy look and that's what I was going for today. I forgot to clean my nose ring. Very important. Don't forget to wipe that foundation off. It's not a good look. I'll just take out these two little side bits of hair. Give them a little cuddle. So that is the finished look. I hope you'll like it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I know it's nothing fancy, but I'm just that kind of person that likes a uh, no makeup, makeup kind of look. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!